there were stars winning all over the place this weekend. Also here in L.A., Gwen Stefani got Radio Disney's Hero Award and a kiss from her man Blake. And let me tell you, their love was on full display with their biggest PDA to date. It's a big day for you. It is a big day for me. Is this happening right now? Because this feels weird. To someone who my brother Blake Shelton knows, truly has a heart of gold. Their PDA was OOC for them. The proud claps, that loving stare, casually touching her hand, and yes, a big kiss on the cheek. But Shelton avoided Saturday's carpet. Instead, Gwen showed off her mini-me six-year-old niece, Stella, and talked to us about her no-doubt roots. Asking my dad for five dollars so I could rent a microphone and then doing a show and then getting on the radio? Like what? Like that doesn't happen to anyone. Gwen did bring Blake to rehearsals on Friday for her first solo tour in nearly a decade, starting July the 12th. And we were with Shelton's buddy, Luke Bryan, who teased they could be collaborating. You never know what could pop up between Blake and I. That sounds like maybe something's in the we'll works see. there, We'll buddy. see. We'll see. Luke beat Blake at Sunday's American Country Countdown Awards, getting two different honors, and Carrie Underwood took home Female Vocalist of the Year and rocked four different amazing outfits. Quite a red carpet look today. Oh, thanks. I have to wonder what Mike says while you're getting ready. I don't care. <laughs> I love him, but I don't care. From super sheer to multicolored beaded minis to sassy gold metallic, clearly Carrie's fitness routine is rock solid. How can we do the get the Carrie Underwood bod? You don't need that much. I mean, I, I like free weights and um, a BOSU, and um, you're in business.